Well, are you ready to play? Are you ready to play America's fastest growing quiz sensation? Oprah, <laughs> Just Chopra, or Bruce? Oh, if I got a good one lined up for you too. Six five one six eight one eight two five five. Jay the Undertaker is sitting in for Mister Small Bladder Tony Verkenis. <laughs> Six five one. No, you're running on down the hall. I mean, well, he's got to go. Six five one six eight one eight two five five. If you would like to play Oprah, Chopra, or Bruce, Jessica, are you ready? Jessica, I'm so excited. You have got a tough one. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. May your heart sing as you embrace what you are created to be and do. Oprah Winfrey, Deepak Chopra, or Evangelist Bruce Wilkinson. May your, One more time. May your heart sing as you embrace what you were created to be and do. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay. Oh, it's got to be either Oprah or Bruce, but let's see. May your heart sing as you embrace what you were created to be and do. Just so you know, earlier we heard a quote from Oprah that said, I believe that you are here to become more of yourself and live your best life. And now the quote is, may your heart sing as you embrace what you were created to be and do. Oprah, Chopra, or Bruce Wilkinson? Oh, is it Bruce? Yes! Way to go, Jessica! That was a tough one. That was a really hard one. All right, hang in there. You're going to do round two, okay? Okay. Here's round two. The spiritual journey is one of continually falling on your face, getting up, Brushing yourself off, looking sheepishly at God, and taking another step. Oprah Chopra or Bruce Wilkinson? Okay, you got to read it one more time again. The spiritual journey is one of continually falling on your face, getting up, brushing yourself off, looking sheepishly at God, and taking another step. Sheepishly at God. Is that Bruce, too? I'm sorry, that's Oprah's website that we heard that from. But hang in there, we'll give you the tickets anyway. Congratulations, Jessica. For winning one round, and that's all it takes to go see Bill Harley on November 15th at Emanuel Christian Center. We are playing Oprah Chopra or Bruce. Bruce Wilkinson, Oprah Winfrey, or Deepak Chopra. Would you like to play? Call me. 651-681-8255. Natalia, hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Are you ready? Yep. The Big Dream tells you that you... A nobody was made to be a somebody and destined to achieve great things. Oprah Chopra or Bruce Wilkinson? I would say Bruce. You are correct. Natalia, round two coming up for Natalia and her child. Not I, nor anyone else can travel that road for you. You must travel it yourself. Oprah Chopra or Bruce? Oprah. You are correct. You are red hot. You're on fire. Number three, going from toward, it is the history of every one of us. Did that even make sense to you? No. Let's, let's, let's do a different one. That was Henry David Thoreau, by the way, on Oprah Winfrey's website. Here we go. The longest journey, the longest journey is the journey inward. Oprah Chopra or Bruce? Bruce? I'm sorry, that is from Oprah Winfrey's website, but hang in there. You're still going to get tickets to see Bill Harley on November 15th as we continue playing Oprah, Chopra, or Bruce. How are you doing, by the way? Are you getting all of these right? Are you able to tell the difference between today's TV guru, the New Age Buddhist guru, and the Prayer of Jabez Bruce Wilkinson, evangelical teacher? How are you doing? Tanya, are you ready to play? Yes. All right, here we go. You could say that the goal is to live in the gap. The gap is the quality of awareness in which all possibilities are awake. Oprah, Chopra, or Bruce? Hmm, could you repeat that? Yes. You could say that the goal is to live in the gap. The gap is the quality of awareness in which all possibilities are awake. Oprah, Chopra, or Bruce? Um, let's see. How about Bruce? I'm sorry. That is Deepak Chopra, Tanya. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Hi. Ready? Yep. The dream giver gave me a big dream before I was ever born. 
I just finally woke up to it. Oprah, Chopra, or Bruce? I'm going to go with Bruce because it's about a big dream. You got that right. All right. All righty, then I'll skip the next one because that's more big dreaming going oh, on. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I want to make sure that I you understand the big dream concept here. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. It's hard to leave your comfort zone, but it would have been even harder to leave behind. Oh, you're going to get that one, too. Oh, let me try this one. Oh, wait, I'll, <laughs> I'll mix them up here. All right, let's try this. Uh, living in the gap is not a skill that is acquired by effort or focus. It is a question of simply being what and who you are at your core. Oh, you just did a gap one. Um, oh, well, you're paying attention. I don't, <laughs> but I don't remember what she said. Oh, gap. Um, I'm going to go with Chopra. Yes. Number two. Okay. Now I know a, number three. Oh, now I know a secret. You're correct. Now I know a secret. I can take courage even when I feel afraid. Bruce? Yes, you are correct. Way to go, Jessica. Man, she just rocked and rolled. Congratulations. You're going to go see Bill Harley's seminar, His Needs, Her Needs, on November 15th. Just in case you are tuning in, it is a big day here. Not only have some people been, well, not as successful as we would hope in playing Oprah, Chopra, or Bruce, discerning the difference between a New Ager, a Buddhist, and an Evangelical Christian... Brand new book from Bruce Britt Wilkinson is called The Dream Giver. This is a book that does not once mention the name of God. This is a book that could be read by a Buddhist, a Hindu, a secular humanist, and they would not be offended even a little bit. God is a dream giver? That's what we have that's what we've reduced Almighty God to? We've just I'm sorry to overuse this one. He's the great vending machine in the sky. He's the great dream giver. Wow. Wow. I wonder how many millions it will sell.